Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to talk about chart GPT, which is currently trending in the market. Though chart GPT is currently trending in the market, but most of the people doesn't know what exactly it is, okay? They feel this is kind of something, okay? But it's very simple, guys, okay? If you are the one who know how to Google search, chart GPT is very simple to understand, guys, okay? This session is all about making the things easy or explaining chart GPT in as easiest way as possible for the ones who want to get started with it or to understand it or curious to know what exactly it is, okay? So let's get started. So what is chart GPT and all? Let me take you to the practical path. So I'll, uh, you know, so I'll open a browser, let's say here, and uh, simply Google search for chart GPT here, guys. Just Google search for chart GPT, guys. In the search results, Google search results, you'll get this uh, link introducing chart GPT from open AI. Okay, this link, just click on that. You'll be taken to this page where you have to click on this try chart GPT button, click on that. When you say try chart GPT, you see, it will ask you to log in or sign up. So uh, I don't have an account, let's say, I'll just simply say sign up. You see, the, it's giving you two options where you can sign up using your email address or uh, if you already have a Google account, just click on continue with Google guys. Select the Google account that you're using. And you see, you will be taken to this. Uh, initially, you will be taken to this, you know, chat GPT, click on next, next, done like this. Now click on new chat or by default, if you're for the first time you're coming here means uh, you'll be definitely there on this page where you will see this chat box. Okay, type some text. Let's say I'll take one example. Guys. Let's say uh, you are, uh, okay, your children were given, if you have children, let's say, assume, okay, were given some assignment at the school. Okay, so to write, you know, uh, five points about the cleanliness. Okay, so write down like this, write five points about, okay, write five points about cleanliness cleanliness as part of my child's assignment assignment at school okay like this i'll type in query so like you're asking one okay instead of google searching you're asking the chat gpt to write five points for you about the cleanliness so as uh, your child at school got an assignment like you're talking to a person you can do that guys okay so click on that this is sure here are Five points. You see, Chat GPT is generating this answer for you. Personal hygiene, keeping surroundings clean, okay, proper food handling, avoiding littering. So uh, around five points it is generating for you, okay. Importance of cleanliness and all. So let's say um I'm uh, because you see the assignment was very specific. Let's say whatever the child's assignment at the school has given is very specific. I'm not convinced with this answer. Rather, you no, know, my requirement is something different. So I can you know. I can ask one more question, like I'm asking a person, right? I can ask one more question here so that chat GPT will understand our requirement in a more better way and generate it in a better way. Simple. You see, I want to generate the point, especially on this area, keeping surroundings clean. Okay. Generate on, generate, uh, you know, 10 points, let's say, gen 10 points on keeping surroundings clean, let's say. So let's see, certainly here are 10 points uh, on keeping, uh, how can you keep your surroundings clean? For that, it is generating the 10 points, okay? Regular cleaning, proper waste, you see, whatever you ask, it will understand and it will generate the content for you. I'll show you something more interesting, guys, okay? Uh, for the people to understand. You see, earlier, if your child has got this kind of assignment, you have to go to Google and uh, search for and do some lot of R&D and then, you know, from different websites, you have to collect the important points and, you know, conclude the thing. Now, ChatGPT is making a lot of things simple, right? Uh, within seconds, you are getting all these points. You don't you don't have to waste your time, okay, anymore uh, to do some Google search and do a lot of R&D and get the points, finalized points. Now, everything is very simple on, and before you. So, let's say uh, your children got sick and you have to write a new letter. Earlier, you didn't know this, right? If you search in Google, you keep on clicking on the links and go to the appropriate page where a proper, you know, a proper uh, new letter template you find, 
that will take a lot of time. That will take a lot of time. And after finding that, you have to write the template in your format. Now, let's see how we can write a leave letter. Okay. Uh, like you're asking one, someone to write a leave letter for you, for your child or something. Write a leave letter for my child who is unable to go to school due to fever. Okay. You see, dear teacher name and all. Here you have to mention the child name, okay? There it's saying. Yeah, this is a template I got for leave later. So let's say I want to customize the teacher name and child name here. Uh, can you customize the able leave later? Uh, can you customize able leave later? with the uh, teacher name as, with the uh, teacher name as, okay, let's give some name, Gayatri or something, Gayatri, okay, and my child name as, okay, let's give some name, uh, let's say Santosh, some random names I picked up. Uh, dear Gayatri, you say it's customizing, right? It can understand what you're talking to it, right? Here, this template, teacher name got customized with, you know, Gayatri. And, you know, your uh, wherever the child name has to be provided, your child name, Santosh is being provided. Uh, and here, your name, parent name, okay? Also, please, I forgot to provide the parent name, okay? Also, uh, please, uh, you know, like you're talking to a person, you can do that, okay? Customize. Uh, customize more by adding parent name as okay sakshi just writing something some random name i'm taking you see dear gayatri this time you see santosh and uh if you have santosh has a high temperature and all you see proper template is coming i sakshi you're writing you see parent name is also coming now like this Yes, sincerely, Sakshi. Not only this, guys, not only for your uh, general needs it can be used, but also, you know, you can use it in, you know, uh, for uh, technical purposes also. Let's say you want to write a, write a complex, uh, write a program or write a program in, let's say, Ruby. I'll go to some different programming language. Ruby, Ruby, write, uh, Ruby is a language, programming language. Write a program in Ruby. Uh, for a complex calculator. Let's see what it will do. He, sure, here is a program in Ruby for a complex calculator and it's writing the code in Ruby programming language and uh, this is a code for a complex calculator. If you are satisfied, that's okay. Okay, this code, you see, this will take a lot of time for you to write this kind of code, guys. It's generating in seconds for you, the entire code. Let's wait for the code to complete. You see, the complete code is being written. You can ask anything, guys. You can do, uh, you can you know, like your, it will generate uh, results in seconds, okay? So you don't have to do a lot of R&D. Complete R&D, chat GPT will do and give the results for you, okay? For you to use. No, uh, can you generate a simple one? Can you um, generate a simple one. You see, basic calculator is generating. It can understand what I'm typing here based on the previous response. You see, whatever the whatever the question I asked, it is generating for me, right? A basic cal uh, uh, calculator program it is generating. Can you make it easy for me to understand the ABO program. I keep on asking. I keep on asking whatever you know. You see, it's explaining about the program, guys. Okay. So, like this, guys. Okay. Like this. This is what is chat GPT, guys. Google cannot do this, right? At this moment, Google cannot do this. We don't know in future. We may get this kind of a, a kind of chat in Google and all those stuff. We don't know. The uh, future is yet to come. But uh, for now, we have this chat GPT, which is currently trending in the market. And uh, this is how you can talk to chat GPT and get whatever you want. 
whether it is it it can be a child simulator or an assignment to solve or a program to be written okay and in all the things it's going to save a lot of time for you and give, give a proper most of the cases it will give a proper output to guys okay so i've been using this for a long time and i'm very impressed with uh, the results the chart gpt is generating for me so use it for you know saving your time okay so uh, the uh, time saved right you can spend on something even more important and all so like that you can use chat gpt to you know to work smart and you know uh, to do the work in a uh, in small time okay in less time if you want to do the work right this is the best option so that's all for this session guys so uh, hope you understood how to use chat gpt so if you are the one who are who is not using chat gpt till now but you have heard it from your friends or uh, circles and all with this video i hope that uh, you understood what exactly chat gpt and uh, how easy it is for you to use it okay so that's all for this session thank you bye